Okay. With this example here, what we're going to be showing is what happens when you end up with a room that is uh, not exact feet, that you actually have some inches on there. So we're going to start the same way and set up our scale again using the same exact scale. One quarter inch to one foot. And I'm going to end up putting our uh, the feet that we want down here. Now the problem is, is with when we look at this 12 feet 6 inches here, I need everything in feet. And so I have to do something with this 6 inches before I can put it down here uh, to be able to do the conversion on it. So what we have to do is look for a way to convert the 6 inches into feet. And the easiest way to do that is to just put the 6 inches over 12. There's 12 inches in a foot. If I reduce that fraction down, I get 1 half. So if I put in down here, I'm looking at 12 from my whole number up here, and 1 half feet is my measurement there, which is kind of an easy one to look at. 12 feet 6 inches is 12 and a half feet. Put my x here, and again, I go through and I do our cross multiplication. So I'm going to do 12 and a half feet times 1 fourth. If you, have diff if you don't have a calculator that will do that, we we'll need to do it by hand. So I'll have one-fourth times, and I need to convert my uh, 12 and a half into a mixed number here. So 2 times 12 is 24, plus 1 is 25, so I'd have end up with 25 over 2 as my mixed number. So 25 over 2, I'm going to multiply straight across. 1 times 25 is 25. 4 times 2 is 8. Didn't come out very well. There we go. Is 8. And again, I do not want to leave this in an improper fraction. It's going to be difficult to measure out as an improper fraction. So I'm going to change it into a mixed number. So 8 goes into 25 three times with 1 left over. So my measurement ends up coming out as 3 and 1 eighths inches. So for 12 feet, 6 inches, when I measure that out on my drawing, I had better come up with 3 and 1 eighths inches. So with that in mind, let's take a look at the one for 9 feet 3 inches. It's going to work the same way. I'm going to set up my scale to start with 1 quarter inch to 1 foot. And again, I'm going to put my feet down here on the bottom side here. But I need to figure out what that 3 inches is going to be as part of a foot. So again, the easiest way to do that is to put it over 12. 3 over 12 is going to end up reducing down to 1 fourth. So when I put go in over here, I'm going to end up putting in 9. Let me get rid of that dot. Putting in 9 and 1 fourth feet. The 9 from the whole number right here, the 1 fourth from our reduced fraction off the 3 twelfths. Put my x up here, and again, go ahead and do our cross multiplication of 1 fourth times 9 and 1 fourth. Again, if you have a calculator, it'll handle it. Otherwise, you're going to have to do it manually. So my 1 fourth from here, and I bring down, uh, to have changes into an improper fraction again. So 4 times 9 is 36, plus 1 is 37. So I get 37 over 4. Again, there's nothing to cancel out, so I just multiply straight across, and I'm going to get 37 over 16. Again, don't want to leave it this way as an improper fraction, so I need to change this into a mixed number. Figure out how many times 16 goes into 37. It goes in two times and leaves me with 5. 16 times 2 gives me 32, so it leaves me with 5 left over out of the 37 over the 16. So I end up with 2 and 5 sixteenths of an inch. So for my measurement here for my 9 feet 3 inches, on my drawing, I should end up with 2 and 5 sixteenths of an inch on the drawing. So this is what we do if we end up with uh, inches that are on multiples of 